Okay, okay. Everything is set and everything is good. What's up, all my dragonlings? I am the Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to the Gaming News, where we run down the list of all of the uh, new rumors, news, and everything that has to do with this week. As you guys can hear, I am completely exhausted. There's, I've been, you know, out doing a lot of my videos, so I'm exhausted. So this week, I'm not going to have a uh, face cam segment because I look like I just got out of a freaking tornado. So, first off, we, we have a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, Sony, overall, and the PlayStation 5, of course. Uh, we got uh, some games that were just announced from uh, Sony's PlayStation. And for the PlayStation 5, and some new games that are being released, and I'm going to run down them really quickly. Some um, Sony's prob probable name change, and yeah, as I said, some stuff for the PS5. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. First off, the Sony PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 is the talking point and the focal point of all game controversy at the moment. Nobody knows a lot of things about this the system. We finally figured out very, very early... Uh, last month about the look of the and feel of the console and what we're going to be looking forward to going forward but still the price point uh, and everything is still a mystery so first off I do want to say Sony just announced six new PlayStation 5 games set to be released alongside the console uh, I don't think it's going to be along with the console but it's going to be released on the console so at least we have some things to look forward to so this is written by WeGotThisCovered.com, and this was written by Tim Brinkhoff, and it reads thusly: Although the PlayStation 5 is set to release this winter, we still know very little about it. Sony's online press conference from a few weeks ago answered some burning questions, such as what the console will look like and what titles will be able to play. Um, we will be able to play on it. But many things, important things like its price tag is still unknown. Every day there, though, we get a bit new information from the company. So it has seen not one, not two, but six new PlayStation 5 titles that we'll be able to play come to the end of the year. Sadly, there's no Uncharted 5 or God of War 2, but they all look pretty promising, so here's a quick rundown. First off, we've got Haven, a cell-shaded production faintly reminiscent of Nintendo's Zelda Breath of the Wild. It follows two lovers who escaped a forgotten planet and must now settle into a mysterious and unknown world. Next up, we got Worms Rumble. Ooh, another Worms game. Nice. Similar in concept and art style to the party multiplayer game, Splatoon. This real-time arena-based strategy title allows up to 32 players to enter a game of deathmatch or last worm standing. The next, then there's Maquette. I think it's called Maquette. M-A-Q-U-E-T-T-E. -E. A beautifully rendered puzzle solving game. This one takes you into a world where, according to the game's pitch, every object is simultaneously tiny and huge. What does that mean? We have in the slightest idea. But apparently it will look like the illusionary drawings of W uh, W C Escher. <laughs> so there's that. Next we um, moving on, we have Heavenly Bodies. The game as its title suggests, is set in space it will allow players to experience the next big thing to actual weightlessness. Thanks to stellar some physics, physics simulations, a game where movement appears to be key, prepare for agonizingly precise trials. Yeah, okay, I, I can see myself not playing that one. Second to last, we got Recompile. And this one may well have the most complex yet intriguing premise of the bunch. Witness the birth of a sapient AI, its pitch reads, in this sprawling atmospheric hacking adventure. Finally, there's Anima, Song from the Abyss. Anima, Song from the Abyss. So that's the last game's name. An action adventure RPG that's also been rendered in the aforementioned style of cell shaded animation. It's based on a popular book series called Anima Beyond Fantasy. And will allow players to explore the world full of mysteries. Tell us though which one of these PlayStation 5 games sound the most interesting to you. 
Well, to be honest, a lot of them sound very interesting to me. But to be honest, there's a lot of things that are going to sound interesting to me. Uh, give me one moment because I'm not going to yawn in you guys' ear. So, BRB. Sorry about that. <laughs> How to yawn. It was, it's, it's just the, you know, the sudden urge to yawn when you're tired. <laughs> it sucks. Anyway, um, the game sounds really good, and Anima, um, Song of the Abyss, it sounds, it, it sounds really cool, and it's based on a actual, a title, which actually seems like a really good fit, so, let's hope that very soon we will see what these games are made of. Oh, and I can't, and I can't wait for another Worms game. That, Worms is awesome. I love Worms. <laughs> anyway. Let's get on to the next thing here, which is the PS5 release date and price reveal coming this month. Now, yes, I you heard me correctly. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I said that one of the main talking points is the price of the console. So maybe this is what we'll be seeing. And this is coming from www.psu.com, and this was written by Michael Herodens on July 3rd, 2020. So this was updated a couple days ago. So. It says Sony will unveil the PS5 release date and price this month, according to Robert Serino, citing sources inside the entertainment industry. Yep, it's another one of those wild rumors, folks. So be sure to digest this with a spoonful of salt, just in case. So yes, take this with a spoon of salt, because to be honest, some of these things did not pan out, like uh, some of my other aforementioned videos. Uh, PS5 release date incoming, according to Serino, Sony will make the announcement on July 13th although there will be no event for the reveal. This pertains to the PS5 release date, the PS5 price, and pre-orders for the upcoming next-gen console. You can see Serena's tweets below. It says July 14th, Google Stadia Connect, Ju July 15th, uh, Unreal F uh, Fest Online. It says on July 12th, it's a, a Ubisoft E3 thing. Okay, July 20th, Dev Showcase. July 22nd, Bandai Namco Play Anime Live. I'd, ra um, I'd rather play it dead. July 21st, 27th, Xbox Summer Game Fest Demo Event. July 23rd, Xbox Game Studios Reveal. TM to be determined for July Maybe Riot Event, which is uh, Riot Games, uh, the maker of um, League of Legends, I believe it is. Um, August 1st, Warframe Tenacon 2020, August Xbox Xboxing Day, State of Play, uh, August 22nd, DC Fandom, August 27th, Gamescom Opening Night Live, August 28th and through the 30th, Gamescom Daily Shows, and Wildcard Nintendo, who knows what, what it'll be doing. And, and it says right in the third, on the 13th, is he said, hashtag PS5 price release date and pre-order. Sony hasn't announced anything regarding the release date and price of the PS5 yet, so once again, take this with a pinch of salt. However, a previous listing of Amazon France had indicated that the PS5 price will clock in at £499 for the standard version of the console, with a digital-only edition coming in slightly cheaper. Furthermore, a former Xbox marketing executive has said that there's no way the PS5 will cost more than £499. The PS5 will be released in holiday 2020 alongside the Xbox Series X from Microsoft. And that is actually going to be real, a good, um, you know, a good cash point. To, let's let's be real. If a, if a gaming executive from Xbox is saying there's no way the, the, PS5, the PS5 will be costing more than $499, then maybe we can start speculating just a little bit. But to be honest, and if it's coming from the opposite side, it's really not going to help too much. It's not going to help too much of the case because they'll say anything. But to be real, uh, take it with a pinch of salt. People are, have been known just to wildly speculate, and that's the problem. As I said, I go through these uh, small price points and these small points and my uh, my little process that I like to do to say, hey, this is uh, this is just really a wild rumor, or this is you know a small selection process for me. But it had to do with a reveal event and so and. Uh, the PS5 price point. I've done this before in the past with the reveal of the PS5, and that actually does pertain more to what I'm. I need to do on this 
basically show like, hey, maybe there's something to this, maybe it's not. But that's why I put it in because an actual game executive did make a statement like that and it's something that you guys should and deserve to hear. So I took it as it is and I'm going to give it to you. As I said, it's taking a picture of so that's up to you. Now, as I bring up the next one, I, I'm going to have to find uh, these... Because again, I am not all the way here. So give me another moment. <sighs> all right. I had to sit back and see exactly what I, I was uh, putting up. <laughs> because I had I had just read a article that I had and it was one of the, around the same one, basically the price point. But then I realized it was the same leak. So I'm like, okay, let me get rid of, I can get, just get rid of this. So we have one more uh, thing to talk about, which would be Sony. Yes, indeed, Sony. Sony has been around for years. Extremely, extremely long time. But will there be a name change for them? We may never know. But it looks like somebody does know. This comes from uh, gizchina.com, and it's written by F.E. Yudan on July 2nd, 2020. And it says, Sony to change its name for the first time in over 60 years. And it goes thusly. According to Sony China, at the annual shareholders meeting last Friday, shareholders approved the proposal to change the company name to Sony Group. The change of name will take effect in April 2021. Sony is a multinational enterprise from Japan. It's, a, its main business is the development of electronic products. It was founded in 1946 by Jing Shinda and Shoda Morita, I believe it's called. Jing Shinda has a background in technology research and development while in development while is good at public relations and marketing. Today, its headquarters is in Sony City, Konan, Minato-ku, Tokyo. I had, to, I had to get that all out, and it was, for some reason, like, I love, like, history, like, and, you know, ancient Greek stuff and ancient uh, history, ancient Jap and Japanese stuff, but when it comes to names, I just can't do it. <laughs> This is the first time that the company will be changing its name in over 60 years. The change of name will usher in a broader identity positioning. Like we said earlier, electronic development is the main business of Sony. The rebranding means that it will increase its efforts in financial services and other businesses. The target is to place these other businesses on par with electronics. Sony's CEO, Yoshida Kenshiro, said we decided to rename the company to the Sony Group because we want to make full use of the diversity of our business portfolio to promote the development and evolution of the business. The Japanese company did not actually start off as Sony, which it actually didn't. Well, the original name of Sony is Tokyo Telecommunications Industry Co. Ltd. However, the name was changed in 1958 to Sony at the, at the time the name Sony represents co-founder Shota Morata's ambition to create a global brand. Yoshida believes that the upcoming changes will lead the company to the next stage. For a long time, critics believe that Sony have been plagued by diversity discounts. Investors tend to avoid buying stocks in companies whose business lines are too diversified. In recent years, some electronic groups in Japan, especially Hitachi, have tried to abandon their non the non core businesses. However, the new coronavirus now makes people realize that Sony's diversified model also has its benefits. Games, music, and other entertainment businesses can meet the needs of the consumers who are not leaving home. This can offset for the losses and the sales of electronic products, and it can. To have a name change that hasn't been in sixty years tells you a lot about sony that sony is able to branch off into these different places and feel like okay we need to put everything on par with our main core business model which is normally electronics we put everything up in the forefront that basically says okay these are all our these are all our business 
And this is, and everything is on equal footing. Nothing is above everything else. Everything is on equal footing with e- with each other. That actually feels like a little more, more better of an ideal. And I think that Sony is putting its foot in the right direction with all this. I mean, there's not, there hasn't been a lot of controversy surrounding Sony. I mean, Sony has had like the extremely devastating um, you know, hacker and uh, the hacker thing in I think 2014, I believe it was 2011-2014. I do not recall the date. But the whole thing is I had a PlayStation account at that point. I'm I'm glad that mine wasn't targeted, so I'm actually happy about that. But um, there's not a lot of controversies that surround Sony, so I mean, for some, for a titan of the industry, who's clean in some sense, I could be wrong. I don't, I don't follow controversies very, you know, fervently. Um, I, I follow gaming. I do not follow the tech titans or anything like that. I don't follow Apple. I don't follow Microsoft. I don't follow Sony stuff. What I do follow is the video games that leads out. That's my, that's my job. So if I'm wrong about this, then by all means, please let me know down in the comment section below. But please do it in a criti- critical manner. Do not sit there and call me a dumb fuck for sitting there and saying something that was wrong. I am only a man. I am not a machine. As I, it sounds in my voice, that I'm only a man. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I do appreciate you all joining me today. You guys have been awesome. Um... Thank you for making uh, the gaming news one of the most popular hits on the channel because I, I I love gaming. Gaming has always been my friend. It's always been there for me when I needed it. It, I, it sounds like it's my best it's been my best friend, but it but it has been to be honest. Um, so gaming has always been my escape. So I'm actually glad to be able to sit back and talk like just talk the jab about the new current news. And, you know, all the stuff that's coming out of the gaming industry. And I've always felt like maybe one day that, some, that gaming was going to be kind of what I do for a living. And technically, it, it is. So I'm actually very ex- excited and very happy that it worked out the way it worked out. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much. What do you guys think? What do you think is the main price point for the PlayStation 5 is. I want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. I want to hear what you guys think because if you're looking at this, you want to be more in to know with Sony and PlayStation 5. So let me know, what do you think? And if you guys don't want to say what do you guys think and you guys don't have no idea, tell me what price do you, is going to be good for you. What, what price would you put on the PlayStation 5? Let me know down in the comment section below. Can't wait to hear about it. Anyway, um, if you guys want to see more of our great, great creators, they're all in, their links are in the descriptions down below. Obviously, you got me, you got Image, you got Chaos, you got Ticket, you got Steelix, you got all of us down there. So click it, click on our stuff and subscribe to all of us. Because we all put out some incredibly great work. If you guys want to see some gold cool stuff, if if I can mention a playlist that you guys might want to watch, go watch Eternal Sonata. It's it was a pretty it was a pretty cool it was a pretty cool uh, game that was being played. So go check it out. And if you guys want to see some more stuff from me, um. I'm just getting into Naruto, but if you guys want to check out some stuff that I've done, one of my first big series that I've done on the channel was uh, Spider-Man PlayStation 5, or PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, go check it out and see what that series had entailed, and watch my entire playlist, because that is all the games that I've done for you as of recent. So, let me know what everyone thinks down in the comments. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, I think you guys should because there's a lot more coming down the pipeline. If you guys want to keep it in now, then click it so you do not miss anything I do. Anyway, hope everyone enjoyed today, but good gaming, happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for some more Game Dragon action. Peace.